Hello, in this episode I will be trying to manage to find the correct way to get into the castle and that Aaliyah um, has told me about and I have here the map that she has drawn for me and I didn't seem to find the correct way to get a uh, in there so I found the front gate of the castle but I didn't manage to find the tunnel entrance that's where I should go to and I've seen a trunk uh, I've seen a tree I mean with two trunks but probably it wasn't the correct one okay we are in the forest and there should be more uh, trees with two trunks I guess, suppose and I think I need to find the correct path um, I wonder, probably, yes, I should totally keep find, uh, following the, the blue pathway all the way. Uh, the thing is that uh, probably I didn't go all the, the way through the blue path correctly and uh, followed properly her instructions in order to get into the tunnel. But let's try to do that again. Um, and actually I'm nearby the totem, so probably I'm around here again. And in the last episode, in the previous episode, I've managed to find a little shortcut back here uh, by the totem and... Oh, crap, <laughs> I fell. But uh, yes, uh, so <laughs> not really important, it's just a shortcut back to this area that will lead me closer to the castle but I cannot get in there in uh, before getting uh, managing the way to the tunnel entrance that's what I'm gonna try to find out today hopefully so there is the totem and uh, from here probably I should get back on track uh, yes, so here there is the f the blue uh, pathway. I should be following this again, maybe through this side? I wonder, uh, yeah, probably. So this is where I started, so let's start this again. And we should follow both the GPS as well with this map. So this. I'm here and I'm gonna go all the way up until this side to the left by the dog statue and then to the left uh, I should yeah maybe turn left let's see we'll get there in a while hopefully so as long as I see these things it means that I keep following the blue path there's the red one. Uh, let me check. Nope. <laughs> what am I doing? Jester. What am I doing? I followed this so easily in the previous episode. What am I doing? Okay, here. So there are the arrows for both blue and red path. And then just some lines. Okay. Over there as well. We should keep going through, not here. Over there. There's the yellow path. I don't want to go through there. Okay, there's this uh, thing here. Sculptures in sandstone. I don't think I've seen this before. 
Matthias uh, was a renowned sculptor and carver. Let's keep going, I think, through here. Uh, yeah. Okay, it's saving. What is this? They look like dogs. Oh, <laughs> yes, they do. So I'm in the right direction. So I think it says then uh, le left. Well, I'm not really going to the left, but. Okay, I've been here, yeah. But then I am here. Oh, and there is a candy wrap. I didn't notice this the last time I was here in the previous episode. Seriously. To the left. I'm just gonna keep turning left. Hang on. This is the right location because I just received the message. Hang on. Let me check. Daniel, are you there? It just gives me the option to ignore. Okay. Guess I'm just gonna ignore and keep going. There's another tree with two trunks and marks. Is this that tree she talked about? I think so. And there's the castle. This is the right tree. Oh well. I think I'm gonna turn left. Definitely through here. Daniel, how's your search going? Hey, I found the girl, and... You've already found her? Uh, no, not Stella. I'm talking about a little girl I met, who was sitting on the rock just below the chapel. Really? Uh, and had she seen Stella? I'm not sure. She seems shy, or maybe even secretive, as if she knows more than she'll say. I'm doing a small favor for her, and hopefully she'll open up to me. A favor? Shouldn't you find your daughter first? I just feel like it's important. If you say so. Anyway, catch you later. Stay safe. All these little 
pathways. Oh <laughs> yeah. I really thought there was a collective all around here. That's why I was roaming around before moving closer to the castle. If these pathways are going to lead me there, of course. But they should, I hope. What is this? Guess I can wash my hands, yes. Without soap. Yeah, not really well, but that's all I got now. It does wonders in this game, it seems. What is this? This is a clue. Looks like the tunnel. There's like a hole. Is this gold? <laughs> Some stones? It looks like I could climb up here, but I need to get higher to reach the first hold. Oh yeah. Let me just take a look around. Oh, there's a hole. One moment, please. I wonder what's in here. Let me try to climb this up first. I need something. Yep. I definitely need to get in here. I don't like this place. Are we going to start seeing creepy stuff again? I have a bad feeling about these places, so... Yeah. Ah, doors. Danielle, get ready. I don't know what, why I was even crouching. Leah could easily get through here, but it's a dead end for me. There has to be another way in. <laughs> this might help me reach the climbing wall. A bunch of stuff. Simberg Castle Legend. Hey Grizzly, this time I won. I have a legend about this very cast very castle. Okay. There are many secrets underground tunnels beneath Simberg's castle. People say that a huge treasure is down there, just waiting to be discovered. Many tried to find it, but none succeeded. One day, little boy accidentally dropped his cap into a crevice next to the castle. He climbed down to retrieve it, but got lost. After many hours of wandering, he met a strange old woman deep in the labyrinth. She showed him many beautiful caps, but he rejected them all. He insisted that he only wanted his old torn cap. The strange old woman gave him his cap, and as a present, she gave him a lantern so he could find he his way back through the tunnels. When the boy returned home, he discovered the lantern that had turned into gold. Later, no matter how hard he searched, he never saw the old woman or found the entrance to the tunnels again. You can use this climbing hold as a consolation prize. Just put it back when you are done exploring. 
By the way, my teeth are killing me. You don't happen to have any painkillers with you? I would appreciate them as your next treasure for me, D. What was that? When you think nothing will be happening, nothing scary, um, can I get out of this place? Daniel? <laughs> Shit, it's here again. I can't risk it. Better hide before it finds me. Get on. <laughs> Trip. <laughs> oh, um, then I'll... I think I died. <laughs> that sucks. Um. Maybe if I drink something, or if I turn off, if I turn off this, or put in the... But without sound. Power saving. Maybe later. Maybe later. No. Doesn't let me. Cell. Father? Listen, not now. Father? I I'm in. Father? That was a terrible idea. So I always have to just decline the call. <laughs> that kinda hurt. Better hide before it finds me. Stupid phone. <laughs> Maybe later. <sighs> Looks like I got away from it. Time to get the hell out of here. I just had to wait a little bit. Okay. That creature appeared in the first episodes of my gameplay, just in case you didn't watch. Let's climb this up and get out of here.
Alright. I'm up here. Let's see what we will find here. More climbing places. Okay. Soon it's gonna be night time. Right, we are in the back of the castle. There's no way I could jump over that. Yeah. Not a good idea. Huh. They're arranged to look like there's no way through. With your hands, Daniel. Whoa. It worked. New location discovered, Simber Castle. And I'm in. I've got to break through this. Not with your hands. Another blocked path. <laughs> Must be my karma. Oh, cool. This is gonna be handy. Oh, um... <laughs> that was kinda scary. I didn't expect for that at all. Holy cow, Ugh, almost died. There's no such thing as safety at work here. Holy crap. What the hell? Those dark roots. I'm seeing something I don't wish to approach. I wonder if I need... Holy crap. No, 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 no. If you've watched... Um, <laughs> my past, not the past episodes, um, the other one. You will see that uh, when uh, Daniel was having the nightmare... You will see this kind of crap. I don't like, I hate this crap. Maybe I should be starting to make a potion. This one. Maybe it should be a good idea.
I like to prevent myself. I'm not sure if there was the need for this here, but uh, yeah, probably. I'm just trying to be careful, okay? There is the the front gate of the castle. The game is saving. Oh. Damn. The vertigo's back. Maybe the potion can help me again. Oh no, I need a vertigo potion and not this one. Okay. That sucks. <laughs> My bad. So let's make um, a potion for the vertigo. This one, common potion. Let's see if I have enough um, devil's eyelashes. Water. Crushed licorice root. Fresh Beckler button leaves. Crushed and vine roots, okay. Let's drink this one. Does it chop? What the hell is that? Should we save the bird? This totem or whatever it is makes my head spin. Poor bird, but. I don't think we should touch on that thing. Careful. This one could crack. I think it will. Do I really have to pass through that one? <sighs> well, I'm alive. I must pass through here. No, I die. I die. I just cannot pass through there. Bad idea. Damn. The vertigo's back. Maybe the potion can help me again. I've lost the effect. Careful, this is a crack. Okay, there's the right way to go. Huh. 
Ha, dem. This is the way out. Just the dead ends. Really? Hmm. What is this? I don't want to know the answer. Oh, what the f... This is the thing is gonna get out of there and jump on me. This is not fair. Oh no, I want to set that one free. I should check out who lost back then. It could help me discover what's going on here. I'm gonna read this. Murak passed. The most dangerous of the forest creatures are the Muda. They are white female specters who intercept human settlements in the form of a vegetable. Stalk, pale shadow, or white cat. Some even transform into flies with the red band around their tiny necks. Muru usually suffocate sleeping people, but they also harm animals, plants, and trees. Not everyone knows that Muru is a living human, who only turns into a demonic form at night without actually knowing it. You can repel them with a gift or fresh bread or a sign called Muru's leg, as depicted below. I found one of these devil spawns on my way off from our settlement as I walked towards the St. Clement's Campbell. A large totem of a horned animal talked to me and asked me to take the left path. There hidden in the dark forest was a huge, huge mura lying in wait for me. I found her and obtained the symbol of knowledge. In her last minute she already tainted many trees by various symbols to the to lead me astray, but I persisted and used my newly found knowledge to locate the proper symbol which opened the path for me.
I hate this place. I'm back here. Okay. Um, actually, I'm gonna leave here because the video is getting too long. I think that the game is gonna save somewhere around the place. Definitely, I'm not gonna touch in that thing. It's gonna save the game. Um, I think the game is gonna save here, right? Please save it. Save the game. Okay, it's saving. Right, thank you so much for watching. Don't miss the next episode. I'm gonna keep going through the, the tunnels eventually. And see you later. Bye bye.